Hello and welcome back to Assassin's Creed Director's Cut. I am your assassin host, Eli the Chief. Let's uh let's go assassinate a man. Don't think we'll beat the game before my wife gets home, but I should be able to beat the game shortly after. There's like, I think I maybe have 40 minutes left in this game, depending on the person. A lot. What news, Antayel? I've learned much about my enemy. Share what you know then. Jubayer has become obsessed with purging the city of its knowledge. A most terrible crime. Now I see why Al Mualim wants you to remove him. He's using the city scholars to assist him. They go out into the streets, harassing the people and collecting all their written works. I fear he intends to destroy them all. He must be stopped. That's why I'm here. He's to hold a meeting soon, at the Madrasa al Qalasa. It's where I'll go. It's where I'll take his life. I'll leave you alone to prepare. Bring glory to the Brotherhood. Glory! Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one. Alright. All that's left is to assassinate him. And this is the wrong mountain. Let's see what information we have on the man. I don't know what that's about. Somebody's wife has books. Oh, is this where the guy's going to be? Rich golden robes carries with an alarm to power. Okay. Alright, not middle, not top left. Not bottom. Left. Not bottom or top right. So he's all, he can only be a far right. Which I guess is what's on the map. Because I did all the things. Um, we'll find out. I have to go here to start the assassination anyway, so might as well. That's not what I want to do at all, game. Has he lost his mind? Yeah, that works. For this nonsense. Leave peasant before I make you. Yes. You are not allowed to be here. Leave. So you must not trespass here. Every single text in this city must be destroyed. My friend, you must not do this. Much knowledge rests within these parchments, put there by our ancestors for good reason. And what reason is this? They are beacons meant to guide us, yeah. and to save us from the darkness that is History ignorance. is important. No, these bits of knowledge is important. They poison your minds, and so long as they exist, you cannot hope to see the world the way it truly is. People even say that nowadays, but still. Use these scrolls are being weapons. They are tools of learning. You turn to them for answers and salvation. You rely more upon them than yourselves. This makes you weak and stupid. You trust in words, drops of ink. Do you ever stop to think of who put them there? Or why? No. 
You simply accept their words without question. And what if those words speak falsely, as they often do? This is dangerous. You are wrong. These texts give the. Oh, he's gonna push me into the fire. I can just feel it. You love your precious writings. You do anything for them? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, of course. Then join them. It's all right, coming a mile away. Any man who speaks as he is just as much a threat. Do any else among you wish to challenge me? Good. Your orders are simple enough. Go out into the city. Collect any remaining writings and add them to the piles in the streets. When you're done, we'll send a cart to collect them, that they may be destroyed. Amen. Well, he is at the far right. That much I know for sure. I looked at my intelligence. Feel that wasn't much intelligence there, though. No, it's not there. Just up here. Good people of Damas, you are doing the right thing. Watch yourself. Let us cleanse this city of its poisoned past. This is a righteous act, and from the flames shall be born a new era, one of truth and unity, governed by a singular wisdom. Who did this? Who did what? People of Damas, you are doing the right thing. Let us cleanse this city. What? Oh, excuse me, sorry. There we go. That works. I didn't mean to drop on him like that. I should have been slower. Oh well. Men must be free to do what they believe. It is not our right to punish one for thinking what they do, no matter how much we disagree. Then what? You of all people should know the answer. Educate them. Teach them right from wrong. It must be knowledge that frees them, not force. Exactly. But they do not learn. Fixed in their ways as they are. You are naive to think otherwise. It's an illness. For which there is but one cure. You're wrong. And that's why you must be put to rest. Am I not unlike those precious books you seek to save? A source of knowledge with which you disagree, yet you are rather quick to steal my life. A small sacrifice to save many. It is necessary. Is it not ancient scrolls that inspire the Crusaders? That fill Salah Adin and his men with a sense of righteous fury? Their texts endanger others, bring death in their wake. I too was making a small sacrifice. It matters little now. Your deed is done. And so am I. Oh, 
really game? Alright, just climb, just climb before they hit you with a rock. There we go. Perfection. Are you seriously just stuck? There we go. Just get on the ladder. Get on the ladder for once. Uh, just, just get on the ladder once, you know? Like, no issue, no climbing up a wall accidentally. But no. Um, okay. Boys. Yeah, I gotta wait for these guys to leave. <laughs> Yes. Jubayer's fires are extinguished. His life as well. Excellent news! I had no doubt you'd succeed. You should have seen it. The scholars followed him so readily. It wasn't just books they fed to fire either, but any man who opposed them. Such ignorance breeds only evil. You've done a good thing this day. As with my other targets, he believed he was doing the right thing. Clearing a path to a better future. Of course he would. Such is the landscape of a madman's mind. The things I've seen these past few weeks. It's as if all the land has gone mad. And this is why we fight to end the war. That sanity might return. The people are desperate for direction. It's easy for men like Jubayer to prey on this and turn them towards evil. You should go, Altair. Return to Al-Mualim. Tell him what you saw. Let him know the good you've done this day. Safety and peace, Rafi. Upon you as well. Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one.
Wait, can we go back to Al Mualim? Done, he'll be taken care of. I want that progress report by tomorrow morning. Oof. Looks like I'm not gonna survive I've till next week. Work I need to do. So you've got the rest of the night to yourself. to talk to her, that's right. I think there's a problem with the Animus. Nope, it's working fine. I'm pretty sure it just ejected me I'm when I'm pretty it... sure you should shut up. You ready to finally tell me what's going on? We have to stop them, Desmond. When they access that last memory of yours, they're just getting started. They want to change everything. The way we live, the way we think, the way we are. You've gotten the lecture from Vidic about what's wrong with the world, how we need order and discipline, so they're going to give it to us. Only we don't have a say in the matter. How? The Templar treasure. They think it... Miss Stola? I'm here. I need you to upload Desmond's files to the database. Got it. So what? You're using me to find this Templar treasure? What do they call it? The Peace of Eden? Yes. Well, it's looking like it's at Messiah. So I don't know why they're wasting all this time with me. Why don't they just send their people to pick it up? They can't. It's not that simple. The artifact from Messiah, they had it. It was destroyed in the accident. Then what are they hoping for me? You know, for my ancestor to tell them? They're hoping he'll show them where the other ones are. You mean there's more than one of these things? Oh, Desmond, you have no idea. Is there a problem, Miss No, Nolan? Warren. Everything's Denver on my end. Then, where are the files? I've got to move these files before he gets suspicious. We'll talk more later. Wait, what's that mean, everything's Denver? It means everything's fine. Why Denver? It's a reference to Denver International Airport. There's an underground facility there. It's where the accident happened. Aren't you tired? All right. I think I'm taking the second game. There's no way I'd ever take a shower in a place like this. Ah. Man, super new lore. Oh, 
Well, Okay. Zero 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 six two six seven seven. That's a bit expensive. Check out this. This must be ah, this is long email. Let's try to do 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 do. We will be here, there, be there. We will be there soon. Look at all the capital letters. Funny. I mean, hiding it in spamming is always smart, honestly. Have you got through here yet? Me too. I checked hers, checked his. Do, do. Yeah. Didn't do anything else yet. I remember liking the lore a lot more when I was younger. Probably because it was still kind of new. But it's still a bit cool to show. Time's wasting, Mr. Miles. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. We're nearly done, you know. And then what? You'll see. You'll see. Maybe they'll even let you watch when it begins. It's not as terrible as you think. Look, I know you're not going to let me leave. So why not tell me what's going on? Humor me. I'm not an idiot, Mr. Miles. I think you've already learned quite a bit. I don't know what you're talking about. Of course not. All right, let me ask you something else then. Yes? Some of the stuff I'm seeing in the Animus, sometimes it seems wrong. Untrue, like the history is off somehow. It doesn't... It doesn't what, Mr. Miles? 
match up with what you read on an online encyclopedia? Mm. What your high school history teacher taught you? Let me ask you something. Do these supposed experts have access to secret knowledge kept hidden from the rest of us? There are books, letters, documents, all sorts of source material from back then. Some of it seems to contradict what the Animus is showing me. Anyone can write a book, and they can put whatever they want on its pages. Anything. <laughs> Used to be we thought the world was flat. Some people still do. <laughs> yes. Still do to this day. About it. Or that the moon landing was a hoax. I believe there's also a book claims the world was created in seven days. A bestseller, too. <laughs> Where is this going, Doc? The point, I suppose, is that you shouldn't trust everything you hear, everything you read. What's that your ancestors said? Nothing is true. Everything is permitted. Yes, exactly. It's part of what makes the Animus so spectacular. There's no room for misinterpretation. There's always room. Touché, Mr. Miles. <laughs> now that I've answered your question, can we begin? All right. Well, I think this episode's done on long enough. Thank you all for joining me. I've been Elon Steed. Don't forget to like, comment, and or subscribe if you enjoyed any dimension of this episode. It really does help support the channel, and I do appreciate the support. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.